Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at random variables, continuous random variables. So this question deals with the cumulative distribution function and the probability density function of a random variable x. So, let x denote the time in milliseconds for our reaction to complete. The cumulative distribution function of x is given as follows. So just a couple of things to remark upon there. Capital F of x is the symbol, is the notation for the cumulative distribution function. Okay, and that is different from the probability density function, which is small f of x, and we'll sort of see that shortly. Now, another thing actually to remark upon is how well specified the cumulative distribution function is. It covers all possible cases of x, where x is some real number, from minus infinity, minus infinity to infinity. Okay, so here x is seemingly must be a positive number for it to make sense, and actually that would make sense in the context of time. So it actually takes account of that discrepancy between time being a positive number and x being any real number by including this top line here where f of x equals zero if x is less than or equal to zero. Okay, so it's just how to sort of properly specify cumulative distribution function is what I'm getting at. So this is the key line here, one minus e to the minus 0.05x, where x is greater than or equal to zero. X is a positive number, or non-negative number at least. So the two questions are, what is the probability density function of x, and what is the probability that a reaction completes within 40 milliseconds? Okay. I just paused it there for a second to correct a little mistake. So the probability density function is given by d of capital F of x dx, that is to say it is the derivative with respect to x of the cumulative distribution function. And vice versa, if you're given the probability density function, you can integrate that to find the cumulative distribution function. We'll look at that in another question. So here's a formal statement of the probability density function. Now first off, you notice that we have it there, small f of x, okay? Now you see, we notice it's the same construction, where zero, where x is less than or equal to zero, and here, the derivative where x is greater than or equal to zero, we get the derivative of this expression above. The derivative of one with respect to x is zero, so don't have to worry about that. And the derivative of e to the minus 0.05x is minus 0.05x times e to the minus 0.05x. So just remember those little uh, definitions and uh, laws that would apply for logarithms and exponentials and so on. Just as a remark, the, there are two minus signs that cancel out, so we are left with a positive number there. So f of x is 0, where x is less than or equal to 0, and 0 0.05 times e to the minus 0.05x, where x is greater than or equal to 0. So when you're answering your question, make sure that you have, have something like this as your answer, this part here, okay? And also, just remember to state what x is. Now, it's actually told to you in the question, but, you know, just to state what x is. Uh, quite often, actually, you might actually sort of see a subscript x there. That's to sort of uh, relate it more explicitly to some random variable named capital X, okay? But essentially, small f and capital F, cumulative distribution function, probability density function, are the key things that you want to see and get right. The second question actually is a straightforward use of the cumulative distribution function. What is the probability that a reaction will complete within 40 milliseconds? So what we're asked for is the probability of x less than or equal to 40, which is the cumulative distribution of 40, okay? So let's go up here. We use this expression here because x is greater than zero. So 0 0.05 times 40 is 0 0.2. Uh, no, it's 2 actually. So what we have there is 1 minus e to the minus 2. A little bit of calculator work and that should work out to be 0 0.865. So that's the first one.